Okay, I opened 3ds Max and I opened the file where I already made some examples for me to try out before I started recording. And I'll start over to show you how I did it. I'm going to keep the sphere because it's just a regular sphere. And move it a bit out of the way. Okay, let's make a plane. There we go. I'm going to make it about 90 length, 32 width. Uh, one length segment and two width segments. Okay. No real world map size. And I'm going to make it an editable poly. Now first I'm going to move it to the center of the grid. There we go. Which makes it much easier to use in the particle editor. Um, I'm going to make sure that the pivot... I'm going to go to the hierarchy tab. Effect pivot only. And make sure that everything is on zero. This one is minus, so let's make sure it's actual zero. Okay. Then I'm going to apply material. And that's the one we made in the Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to apply it to the mesh. And then I'm going to unwrap it to be sure that it's set correctly. Because at the moment it's a bit off. I just probably just need to rotate it. And yes, I only need to rotate it. There we go. You want the edge of the thruster tail thingy on the left side. And if you can look in here, you can see the texture in here as well. The thing is, I'm not sure if it's an Unreal Engine 4 problem or just something with the Videos Max, but this side sometimes takes over a little bit of this side. So I'm going to move this a little bit out of the way, like this. And like I told you in the Photoshop tutorial, I wanted this part to be black. And therefore I can do this to be sure that there won't be any weird edges in the range of 4. I'm going to collapse it all. And I'm going to rotate this once. 90 degrees, which should be fine. I'm going to make a copy, no instance. I'm going to attach the two together. Just to be sure, I'm going to see if I can weld any vertices and make sure that all the polygons are correct. Okay, this is basically the main thruster. It's done. I'll call it uh, particle tail FX. And that sound was my cat jumping around. She wants to talk as well. Okay. Now I'm going to add the swirl. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. Uh, this should be around fine, I guess. And then I'm going to go to Edge Selection and select all the edges. Not the ones on the side, just the ones in the middle. And I'm going to press Connect. I'm going to repeat this a few times until we have a nice tessellation going on. And depending on your needs, you can go really detailed. Keep in mind it's a particle, so you don't want to go over the top. And I think this should be fine. Okay. Then I'm going to offset this a bit to the, to the top. I'll make it about 32 high. I'm going to make one at the bottom as well. And the one will be minus 32. There we go. Then I'm going to add a twist. I'll make sure that the center is around the beginning. And let's go for 180. This doesn't look that good. So let me twist the axis and there we go. This looks rather nice already. But I want this beginning to be at the center. And that could, can look rather odd, but you won't really notice it when you're using it in the particle editor, so don't worry. I'm gonna collapse all. I'm gonna delete one of the two because I can just copy it in Unreal Engine 4. Select the first five vertices, soft selection, use soft selection, increase the fall off quite a bit. 
this may be a bit too much. Uh, there we go. And snap it to the center of the grid. There we go. It might look a bit off, but don't worry. It should be fine. If it's not, then you can just make the mesh a little bit longer and see how it looks then. Okay, disable soft selection. And if you now look, oh, let me first go to the hierarchy, effect pivot, and make sure everything is set to zero again. Now, if I rotate this, it will already create a swirl, as you can see. Okay, that's the swirl. We're getting somewhere. Uh, okay, let's do the sphere one. There we go, it shouldn't be this big. But 32 radius, and I think 16 segments is alright. Okay. Let's make sure it's, everything's on zero. Real world map size is off. Go to editable polygon. And delete a lot. First delete half of it. And then delete another half of it. And do that once more. So you only have these 16 left. Then apply the texture to it, which makes it easier to see what we're doing. Go to unwrap UVW, open editor. Let's go to polygonal selection, planner map, and just press best line. Pack normalize, uh, rotate it once, and as you can see, it's inside everything and should be fine. But, like I said with, with the previous mesh, you might want to move this a little bit over there. Okay, gonna close all, and then I'm gonna we that three times in rotation. There you go. And as you can see, the thruster tail part will show quite up quite nice in the editor. I'm gonna attach them all together. Select all vertices, press weld, make sure that all the polygons are in the same smoothing group. Maybe press re, re triangulate one time just to be sure. Okay, and now there's another thing. I want the pivot to be at the front. So I'm gonna go to the snap, select the top, move it here, go to the hierarchy once again, effect pivot only, uh, move this to zero, zero, zero. There we go. We're almost done. Now we're gonna do a one that's a bit more difficult. Well, not difficult, but just takes a bit more time. Another sphere. There we go. Let's make it 32 again. This time with 15 segments. No real map. Doesn't really matter, but it's just easier. Editable poly. And now cut off only the bottom, the bottom part. Okay. And I want to have three sections over, so let's delete all the others. There we go. Again, apply the texture to it. And go to UVW. Uh, UVW. Go to the polygon selection tool, select it all, press the planner map, press best align, which should be fine. Pack normalize, rotate it once, see if it fits, it does, uh, move this side a bit, there, okay. And now I need this to rotate 72 degrees if I'm correct, let's be sure, I'm gonna get my calculator, 
360 through 5 72 yes and I only have 72.5 so that's okay there we go next one is 144 okay and since I'm really bad at math let's start here okay make this 72 and this one 144 again there attach them all select all the vertices weld make sure smooth and good for correct press triangulate to be sure rotate this 90 degrees Make sure that all of them are pointing at the same direction. So in this case, everything is going to the left side. Go to the tip. Make sure you have snap on. Move to the center. And hierarchy, effect pivot only. Move this to zero. And there we go. Now you have all the meshes we need to make it. This one will be the center, the projectile. And these will be just like force, a trail, whatever you want it to be. I mean, we're not going for realistic this time, so that should be fine. Now, I could move everything back to zero, zero, zero to the center, but I don't have to because I'm using an export batch tool made by Yoss. And I can just press select all. I should name them first, though. So let's call this uh, um, projectile this is the front oh, I'm gonna call it shield because I have no idea what else to call it O1 I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna call this one O2 this one will be oh, particle tail effects and particle tail effect this one was should be O0 this one I'm just naming them rather random now so I suggest that you do it, name them better than me. Okay, select them all. And I just press export selected. I'll get the FBX options. Okay. And they were all expect, uh, exported at 000, which should be fine. Okay, now that's done. I can finally move on to Unreal Engine 4. I'll see you in a bit.